What is going on fellas and welcome back to my non-league to legend save. Things have been going a little bit better recently. As you can see, we won two in our last five, which is definitely better than it used to be. <clears throat> We're up against Wexford who've had three draws. So they've gotten, they're not doing terribly. They haven't won a game yet. So today is the day they're going to do it probably. Uh, since we were here last, when we played, who did we play last? Longford and Finn Harps? Was it? We lost? Yeah. Why not? Was it? Yeah. I had, I had to look um, at one of my other screens to see. Uh, we got beaten by Galway. Took the lead. They came back in the second half and smashed us. We never really looked like we were the better team, even though we took the lead. Uh, then we beat Wexford in the Cup. That was a nice game. Then we, be, we got beaten by Drogheda. Um, Charlie Lyons came on, was on the pitch for eight minutes, got himself a straight red card for a two-footed lunge. Instantly put him up to to sell him. Eric Kiley did score, so that was, that was nice. Um... Then we played Bray and lost 2-1. We were a bit shit. But Ryan Burke scored, the 16-year-old. And then we played Finn Harps. 4-1, Ryan Burke with a hat-trick. A hat-trick, my friends. A hat-trick. We haven't seen one of them in years. Oh, how was our attendance recently? 202... Play Wexford again today at home. It's a league game. Probably won't get 202 fans showing up to it. It's a bit disappointing. We have a 6,000 6, seater stadium. Uh, but we are going to be playing Wexford and Kevin Teeley in this game. Um, I'm hoping that we can kind of continue. So we're going to play with a fairly similar team that started the last game. We have Tom Holland in goal. Fitzgerald and O'Connor as our fullbacks. Um, O'Reardon and Farrell as our centre backs with Graham Kelly and Abbott as our centre midfield partnership Kelly and Dunn as our wingers behind Purcell and Burke uh, Eric Kiley just gonna just gonna have him sit this one out he's not been a great for uh, O'Brien Whitmarsh not really ready yet to come back um, Max Sweeney has pissed me off he's played really really poorly recently Dario Martinez Probably a little unfortunate not to be starting this game. He has been in quite good form. Uh, Charlie Lyons, as I said, has just been trash this year. Um, do I start Charlie Fleming? No, we're going to start with... We're going to keep Fitzgerald. He did well in the last game. None of our right backs are playing well this year. So this is the team we're going to play. He can't even come off the bench because I haven't put him on it. So, this is definitely a game I want... We need to win. Pretty simple. We need to win this. Um, yep, yeah, put our poor run of form to an end. We haven't won in the league in a while. Ryan Burke could be the one that changes all of that for us. Uh, it's, it's been a hot minute since we did anything, really. The Finn Harps game, that was a very... Unexpected result, I suppose. I didn't think we were going to to win that quite so comfortably. Um, so it was kind of nice that we did, because you know we hadn't really played all that well previous to uh previous to that game. But Don Don has been a little um underwhelming, should we say? He's been good, but not. Really good. He's been decent. But Purcell can't get it past Donnelly. Um, for a player who was playing in non-league football in England last season, you'd expect him to be doing a little bit better. Because like this is this is a step back for him. So he's been disappointing. But at the same time, can't really drop him. Because he's so versatile. He can play anywhere on the left. Kind of means that if I decide to move him back to left back, he can still do it. 
but at the same time we have a, we have a good few left wingers that are good so i have contemplated moving him to left back more full time cuz our left backs as well have been a bit meh this season that does count Purcell with his fifth of the season. The big tall lad scores us a cheeky little goal. Ben O'Reardon with the assist. And Purcell just slots it past. The, to be fair, you'd expect the keeper to get a little bit further over than he did. <clears throat> I'm not going to complain too much. The Limerick-Galway game got postponed. I can only assume it was for a waterlogged pitch. I would assume, I think. Although, Cove isn't too far from Limerick and it's 13 degrees here. Things are going well. I know you're capable of even better. Nobody cares. I'm going to be assertive this time. See, does that make a difference? Not really. No. Ryan Burke seems a bit more up for the challenge of you know, trying to win this game. Uh, I might swap Kelly and Dunn around. Although, Kelly is just playing trash altogether. Abbott's not playing great. Tom Holland's having a decent game. <clears throat> that was an interesting punch, but yeah. Saw that one coming. Nobody, does, nobody closed down Simpson. So he had time to pick up the ball and kind of wiggle about for a couple of seconds. Before he just turned and yeah, that wasn't great. And now they're dominating the game. Kelly can't get there. Coombs, Kenny smashes it past the keeper. Alright, changes need to be made. Kelly are coming off, you're annoying me. So we're going to bring on Dario Martinez, who's going to be an inverted winger. Jason Abbott, you're playing shit, so Mickey Rourke is coming on. We'll leave it at that for now. Kevin Fitzgerald, of course, because I hummed and hawed about whether we should play him, is playing shit. And now that pushes us bottom of the league. Holland to O'Reardon. Sends a forward to Purcell. Dunn picks it up. Far too easily dispossessed. O'Reardon heads it to Martinez. Kelly. Burke heads it on to Martinez. That was interesting, but alright. Martinez tries a speculative effort. Does not come off. O'Connor not having... O'Connor. Martinez with the free kick. Whips it in. Absolutely nobody there. And Kieran Dunn gets in there to get us... Our second of the game. That was just... We were lucky. We were very lucky there. Because it looked like it was going to hit the keeper. They... What? Why would you bring a player on and then instantly sub him off again? Stephen O'Connor is playing... Tremendously poorly. But he's going to say... Kelly is going to come off for... Hurley play on the attack instruction and we're gonna try and bomb on see if we can get a, a winner hopefully not concede Tom Holland clutches the ball to his chest the lads are frustrated but you know I'm frustrated as well that we're not beating the worst team in Ireland simply not good enough lads we didn't even get man of the match. I think uh, Jason Abbott does not start the next game. I think we bring in Mickey Rourke for the next one. Abbott's been very, very meh recently. Um, Athlone beat Drogheda. Athlone are on absolute tear this season. What is going on? Hmm. So yeah. We will be back in just a second for the game against Kevin Teeley. It's definitely one we need to win. 259 people showed up to that game. Interesting. Uh, we are 20 points behind Limerick. Wow. 
We're two points ahead of Wexford. It's just what is going on? How are we this bad? We are so bad at football. Alright, Cabin Teeley next. Hopefully I'm gonna make I'm gonna have to make changes for the Cabin Teeley game because that was just that was terrible. So we will be back in just a second for that. So don't go anywhere, stay where you are. Maybe we I don't know. We'll make changes, we'll figure something out. Alright fellas, <clears throat> we're back now for the game against Cabin Teeley, who are seventh with the win. We will jump ahead of them. So let's hope we can win this game. They've beaten us four times. It's been two draws. We've beaten them once. We don't like those odds. So this is the team we're going playing. We have uh, <coughs> Jack Byrne back in goal today. Fleming and Tracy come back in as our fullbacks. Um, O'Reardon and Farrell continue as centre-backs. Hurley and O'Rourke come in as centre midfield. Makute? Uh, Maku it's been so long since he played. I don't remember how to say his name. Makute and Dunn are our wingers. And we're going to play Purcell and Kylie up front because <clears throat> maybe Kylie will remember how to be a footballer because he was really good last year and he's been trashed this year. He was really good in his first two seasons with us. He's been, he's a one in four man this year. Uh, George Makute, I think this will be like his fifth game for us. <laughs> he doesn't get, he doesn't get many games. Um, yeah, it's fifth game in the league for us. He's a yeah. He doesn't play very often, uh, with good reason. <laughs> it's twenty eight games, one goal. Not really the best player in the world. But then again, he wouldn't be a cove if he was the best player in the world. Um, aggressively tell him to get revenge. A bunch of people expecting performances. Kieran Dunn, Kieran Dunn, expect performance. I do, I do expect performance. He is the best player at the club. You'd expect him to do something. A lot of the time he's not done anything. We have an experienced left side. And not a very experienced right side. So, Tracy. Oh, Shane Tracy with the free kick. Absolute marksman. Finn Harps must be drawing in their game. There, drawing with Galway. Casey. Oh, quick free. Connor Ellis offside. That would have been an instant response. I haven't, I haven't seen much of this where... A free kick is taken quickly. But that would have been a relatively quick um, comeback. Reply, I suppose, would be the better word to, to use. Um, <clears throat> I've been contemplating Stephen O'Leary bringing him back in. But I don't know what to do about Dunn. Because Dunn is definitely one of those players I don't want to leave out of the team. But if he doesn't play better then I don't really see a need for him to be in the team why did Purcell trip whoever oh, Ryan Dooney's offside this time an awful lot of offsides so far it's been one of those games where we held our line fairly well to be fair to us Fleming Hurley Fleming whips it in Almost caught McGuinness off. Kylie is like, I want the ball. Give me the ball. Nope. Fleming punts it forward. Kylie slots it past the keeper. Absolutely beautiful. Fleming, to be fair, that was a beautiful pass. Beautifully weighted. Why can't he do that all the time? Knight put it back. And then on the volley, no less. Puts it into Kylie's path. Slots it past the keeper. Bish bash bosh. Happy days. I like how O'Rourke is aggressive as a ball winning midfielder. That is what you want. Don't 
don't let your focus drop. Uh, Tracy's a little seem to lose confidence, but if he stays playing the way he is, then he starts next game. Uh, I have been flicking around between left backs because I've been very underwhelmed by all of them this year. And my right backs have been playing crap. So I have contemplated moving to a a five man defence, but then I've no centre backs that are good. Proven by the fact that the Cabin Healy player just kind of walked past everybody. He wasn't moving very quickly and still managed to just slide through my defence. Thought that was definitely going to be a right card. Hurley plays it out. Done. Can just run down the wing. Whips it across. And Mickey Rourke with the goal. Ooh, you don't see him score very often. Hurley, beautiful start to this move. Done. Runs all the way down the wing. Gets to the byline. Whips it across. Mickey Rourke. Catches the keeper going the wrong direction. And Mickey Rourke is now going 7, 7.1, 7, 7.1. 7, 7 <laughs> Mickey Rourke did, nearly did the splits. Labutus scores from a distance out. All right, I show a bit of passion, will ya? Hurley heads care. Makuta. Is he going to do his man? I was already contemplating taking him off. He does that. He's coming straight off. Um, is there anyone else? I think we should probably take Ben O'Reardon off. Because he is on a booking. And he's a centre-back who does like a red card. So he's coming off for Max Sweeney. I don't normally change my centre-backs when they're playing well-ish. They're playing football. Um, Ellis just somehow, man somehow manages to phase through my defender. Kevin Teeley with a quick corner, but Burn is straight on it. Crowley. Another big ball forward. Again, Farrell is left flat footed. Jack Burn, McSweeney. Big ball forward can don't get there. He does. Oh, beautiful first touch. And nobody tries to get in there to, to get that ball. We're going to make a sub right at the end. Well, not right at the end, but close enough to the end that we waste a small amount of time. Um, I think we'll take off Purcell for Burke. We leave Burke as a target man, but put him on attack. Oh. Oh. Two young strikers swapping around. Gonna. Oh. This is definitely an issue that needs to be fixed. We came in as the goal was scored. So, see, Dunn runs wide to Tracy, whips it in. Keeper. Just kind of jumps on the spot, but Burke manages to score. Okay. Manley to Crowley. Back to Manley. That was a nice goal, to be fair. I don't think you could say anything bad about that goal, apart from the fact that they scored it against us. It was a well worked routine. None of our players seemed to know what to do with it. And Jack Byrne just. That's what happens when you got short people problems. Tracy with the corner. Gets headed clear. Tracy back in. O'Rourke makes it 5. It is 5-3. Well done, lads. We have managed to win a football match. Yes. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. I never doubted that. When they came back to 3-2, didn't, didn't doubt it for a second. We only had nine shots on target that are ten. Yeah, well done, lads. It was a good win for us. Mickey Rourke, man of the match. I'll give him a bit of a performance that was very good. Because it was. You know, the kid did well. 
he's been in and out of the team a lot recently because I get sick of looking at him. <laughs> Essentially, I get sick of looking at him and I just decide to drop him. So that moves us to 8th. Wexford beaten again by Longford. Um, it was a bit of a goal fest, to be fair. Mickey Rourke does the job. Two shots on target, two goals. Superb in front of goal last time. Beautiful job, boy. Well done. Um, the division's looking a bit interesting, as it is right now. Um, next game we play, I suppose it, the League Cup semi-final. Could be against Drogheda, UCD or Dundalk. So we're the only first division team left. No, Drogheda as well, sorry. So... I wouldn't mind getting a game against Dundalk, just for the lulls. Why not? So I think, yeah, that's what we do. We come back for the two cup games, either side of Drogheda. It could be a Drogheda. We got, if we get Drogheda, we'll do a Drogheda doubleheader, because that would be interesting, maybe. I don't know. Um, if it's not Drogheda, then we'll just play the two cup games. The Senior Challenge Cup if we get a really shit team then I'm not going to bother because it's just going to be us scoring goals which would be nice something we definitely need but for right now no, you see uh, but then we could have moved clubs as well that would be fantastic I think by July we should have our new coaching badge that would make a huge difference uh, that would that could possibly mean we're actually in the running for, you know, good jobs or just jobs in general. Uh, so if you have enjoyed, in a, you know, we scored seven goals in this episode. We conceded five, but we scored seven. So what I'm what I would say here is, we're not doing as bad as I thought we were going to do. The lads are, the board are suddenly very pleased and we're up to a B. This is fantastic. Um, if you have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you have not already, if you have subscribed already, subscribe again. Somehow. Find a way to subscribe more than once. Thank you very much for watching, fellas. And I'll see you in the next one.